Mimi here and welcome back to Danmachi Memoria Freeze and today we are going to collect the rewards for uh, the event Passion of the Mayad Mayads mean I can't pronounce it I just tried really I, I've been trying to say it and I just cannot say it for the life of me and so I have actually gone through and completed the event in normal and hard I cannot clear very hard as of yet maybe soon I will because I will be pulling and so I, I have not um, finished it in very hard but I finished it in normal and hard and as you can see I have a decent amount of the shards and I was very well pleased that I did not have to grind so much after completing it both in normal and hard had I been able to do um, very hard I think I would have had enough just through one you know one passing actually no I probably need it a little bit more but I've been grinding all of today to be able to finish the event um, and get all the you know get enough to collect some rewards especially my my biggest thing that I wanted to get is make sure that I got um, the unit and all of its bonds so actually if you um, something that's very important make sure that you look at the missions the time limited ones they're, do, they're only here through the event. They give you a lot of irises. They give you a lot of other things. So make sure you do them. And thank you so much, Phoenix, for that follow. Meow. meow. <laughs> so, like, yes, I really like that. At least for this event, you did not have to grind so very much. I was very scared of grinding this event because a lot of games have left, you know, that bad taste in my mouth about how much you have to grind to get stuff. So let's go and exchange things. Um, we're going to go to the shop and event exchange. So of course we're doing this event and first we'll get Louis. Um If you could see behind me, well you can't. Um, the first one, which is the actual unit, this one right here, is 150 of the small shard. So. As you can see, um, we have 1,685, so we're gonna get her. Yes, we want to exchange. Yay, new character unlocked, yay. And we have her outfit. That's awesome, as always. Okay, so now we can't get her. We can only get one. And you see that my little shards, my shard count went down. Okay, so now we're gonna get the bond, uh, which is still the little one, the little shard. And let's see. Oh, we can get two of the bonds uh, through the big, um, the second one. We're gonna get both because priorities. And then we're gonna grab the bond up here. And there's this, you can get three. Oh my. Ooh. Let's see. We got, uh, you max out of five. So I can get, I can plus five her. You can, I can put plus fire because you know one two exchange oh stock three I need more to plus fiber because that's just four I did not see that oh it says zero left okay I'm confused um is it because I can't buy it because it said stock three Oh, maybe that's how many I have? Let's go see. Let's go see. Because I might be miscounting here. I'm probably miscounting. Status board. Yes, I have bond five. I miscounted. <laughs> I miscounted. So, yes, there is five. Um, that's awesome. And, I, you know, just going through the event once... And a little bit of grinding towards a higher level um, it was enough to plus five her and I will you know eventually take her to six star and limit breaker because you know having a plus five unit especially if it's a free unit is going to be very helpful and you know let's go over her skills so she does have a high thunder magic attack that um, which is AoE she has another one that it's mid thunder attack um, and that's for one foe she has some uh, Magician plus 5%, Unbreakable Endurance plus 4, and Element Resist plus 10%. So she seems like a very solid unit for being free, and the event wasn't as grindy as I would have thought. If you can do um, easy and hard, 
you're good. You're good if you can do it twice. And also now that you know we've seen how many things I need um, used up, you can see that you can buy different things with the rest of the things that you have. So either I would suggest if you have a ton of the shards left over and gems and crystals that the things that you use them on are going to be the, the rare things. Um, you can, if you want to um, unlock the XP quest, get the XP orb, you know, there's the Valis orb and the Fauna. Um, if you want, if you are lacking in one of them and you want to be able to unlock those quests. And my tablet just froze for a second. Um, the experience points, I mean the experience books, the Exilia books, sure. You could use your four little things for one of these, for one. Or, if you unlock the, um, the XP orb and unlock the quest and you're able to do very hard, you, you might, you know, that might be more worth it. But if you have a whole bunch of the little, of this, you know, the second size shard, the gem, then go for it. I think that's probably what something I'll do, um, at least for the medium one, because I do have a good amount. And even the small ones. You know, I wouldn't... <sighs> I'm, I'm kind of iffy on spending it on valleys like I feel like I'd rather get experience books than money but you know just grinding you get more money and some of the experience books sometimes you get them sometimes you don't um, but at least for me I am going to err on the side of getting one of um, well I'll get the XP one and the volleys so I'm gonna get the volleys and I'm also going to get the XP one. Let's change. I only have 109 of that one. So I will use the rest of them on the Exilia book. But I'm not going to spend them right now. Just because I might grind out the event a little bit more. Um, to be able to get um, the Fauna one. Just so I can have one of each. Um, at least from it. And... It actually tells you how many are left um, but actually I think what I will do because of how much worth it would be is um, grind out the crystal to be able to get the hero fauna because they're rare they're rare really rare drops and they're so worth it to be able to go you know take your um, your units higher so that is my recommendation I hope um, you found this event sort of you know doable the very hard is very it's very hard if you don't have like all five star units and a really good or you know if you don't have them you know at least have a really good support one and with yours attached to it it helps out like um i think for me one of my struggles is that um i do have bell at six stars and also anya but my second, my second slot there, um, I have a Riviera, the one that was three stars, I took it to five, but it's not the strongest, and I think I need more damage so I can, like, boom through them instead of, like, struggling. At least that's my, my thought process, which is why I'm gonna pull from the banner that we just got, because I need some stronger units, uh, to be able to decimate, and I haven't really actually pulled that much yet. Just because I've been trying to figure out what is best for my game and using what I have and to its fullest, you know, to its max potential. I know after I pull, I'm going to need a lot of Fauna and money. <laughs> I'll need volleys a lot because it goes by so fast um, and I actually ran out of Fauna. I thought I had a good stash, but then upgrading things, it makes... You, you consume materials so fast like I had almost all of them at about a hundred and then I started upgrading things and my my supplies just went down the drain um, so I, you know let me know in the comments below did you do this event did you complete it and what did you spend your your currency on did you <laughs> get um, enough to um, limit break um flavies to the max or are you instead gonna be you know spending your currency on the other items in the shop i i think it's might you know it's worth it just getting her for the full limit break because i mean why not it's free as long as you're able to complete the you know the quests 
So thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what did you do with this event and have you already finished the next one? Because I know some people that have already finished it. <laughs> thank you so very much for uh, thank you so very much for watching and until next time, meow meow.